on today's episode of Dapper Daniel. This is the Conroe plan. This is a four bed, three bath, 3,800 square feet, three car garage over to the left side. Then we have this pretty open on this floor plan in the sense of like, you can see the ceilings on the entry are pretty tall. On the other side of the island here, you have the Whirlpool appliances, you got your dishwasher, you have your sink, pretty basic stainless steel in there. And this is now the primary bedroom. So this one is vaulted up. This countertop over here on this, this vanity is a little bit smaller than than this one over here. Uh, so that makes sense. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video today. We're over here in Wilmoth Ridge. I actually just got done shooting a neighborhood tour over this area. So go check out that before you watch this one just to get an idea on what this whole neighborhood looks like or check that video out after uh, you watch this one since you're already on this video right now. But we're over here in Wilmoth Ridge. We're gonna be checking out a Shattuck home. This is the Conroe plan. This is a four bed, three bath, 3,800 square feet, currently listed at 990 thousand dollars so just under that million oh i gotta turn off the car daniel you gotta turn off the car even though it's a safe area we're in mckinney I don't want someone jacking the lexus you know okay so this is the conroe plan they have this one set up the fairly long driveway and then you got the three car garage over to the left side now they've painted the doors on here it looks black but it's actually like this deep navy dark blue and they also have the gutters painted the same the one thing i'm not a big fan of is like this flower bedding here i think this flower bedding over here at the front of the home looks well and dandy but i mean what is what's the point of this small little sliver of mulch here i don't quite understand that this home is facing south so the front of it like this office here is going to get some good light and then they also have some other windows up above uh, right down there that kind of points as that points into the stairway uh, for the home so let's walk through this one and show you guys what nine hundred and ninety thousand dollars could buy you over here at wilmoth ridge so starting out the front porch is not so big right it's going to be just a small little cupboard and then one little light above walking in we're gonna have this pretty open on this floor plan in the sense of like you can see the ceilings on the entry are pretty tall i did a conroe plan tour over at the lakes of legacy i believe so you can go check out that one and that home tour too to kind of see the difference uh, but they're both laid the same way in the sense of like the garage was on the left side and the study and the kitchen are over towards the right but maybe you haven't checked out that video so let's walk through this one i don't know what's going on with this door like did, I know we're in Texas and like everyone's got guns, but this door is like hurting. It looks like someone just like shot bullets into it. So I don't, I don't know. I, I think if I was the homeowner trying to buy this, I might change, try to change out the door because this looks a little bit funky. How's the front of it look? Yeah, see, it's just got these random big hole marks. I don't know. I think they're going for like a certain type of look, but it's, it's just, it's really not working. Uh, up above, there's actually some more windows. So like I was saying from the front, you have that window that kind of goes in towards the staircase and then there's one up above the doorway as well. Here's the study. So this is getting a good amount of light in it. Maybe you don't want this much light coming into your study, but uh, maybe you're someone else that does appreciate that. So how this home is facing, it's out towards the south. So uh, the sun right now, it is currently 1220 good amount of lights coming into this room. Ceilings in here are about nine foot, and then you have this fan that's connected up and wired with that one. And then the windows here are spread out. It's kind of one window, but it's actually three windows that are here, and they're not actually windows that can open up. Uh, they're just kind of solid, no opening up these windows on here, and they're white on the outside, and then they're also painted white on the inside. These doors here close off to make it into a private study. And then you walk right into the dining room area on this one. So dining room here has some crown molding up above that looks good, kind of matches down with the baseboards and then two windows that look out to the side yard. And then there's probably about eight feet between you and your neighbor on how these lots are sitting. So they're like 60 foot lots. So putting the 3,500, 4,000 square foot home on a 60 foot lot, it's gonna be pretty close to your neighbor. Now walking into the living room area, actually, let me show you this. This is just underneath the staircase, kind of, not really. I think they have more storage over on the other side with the utility closet, but this is just a small little closet with shelves 
uh, kind of neat, kind of under, I guess not fully underneath the staircase. It's more underneath this walkway that leads into the other bedrooms. Here is the living room. So nice solid mantle that they have set up here with some tiling. This looks like dolomite or quartzite. It's a very sparkly tiling that they have. I don't know if I'd pick this tiling because it leaves like weird edges. It's not like a flat tile. So when they went in and they put in this caulking, if you guys can see, and this is just, you know, to help you guys get ideas on maybe what finishes and what tiling you want to put on. I probably wouldn't choose something like this because you can kind of see it's a little rough around the areas, which I, they can't really get around that. It's just something that is the deal with because of just how this tile lays, but it doesn't look as clean, but you can kind of see up above here on the top, it looks a lot cleaner than maybe on the side. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're trying to pick out tiling, maybe for your fireplace or maybe for your backsplash as well. The mantle does look good. You'd have your TV set up here and then you'd have maybe a bookcase, more shelving, cabinetry on that side and then you can also match it and it has some nice symmetry within the home. I don't feel like the fireplace takes too much of the living room up. Sometimes I walk in through these homes and the fireplace kind of bumps out a bit more and really limits the amount of space. But since you got high ceilings in here, it opens up into the kitchen. I, th I do think the fireplace is a good little addition. It doesn't eat too much into the room where you don't feel like you have enough space. Now over into the kitchen, you got this fairly long island. Now, guys, why has no one called me out? For some reason, I've been getting this wrong, you know, and this is on me, but I've been calling this like a, sometimes I refer to this as a waterfall edge, but it's not really a waterfall island, right? It kind of, this one actually gives the appeal of like a waterfall island, but really a waterfall island is taking this countertop and then bringing it to the floor where you don't have like these laid in pieces on the side of the island like that. However, it does still give like a waterfall look to it. So I, I think I've referred to, to other things as, as like, you know, when it has like some paneling and also has like the electrical outlets on the side and things like that, it's not quite a waterfall island, although it kind of looks like it. So uh, that just being said, I kind of wanted to set the record straight there because I think in my previous videos, I've said waterfall edge or waterfall island and it, and it wasn't truly a waterfall island. So we're all learning here, right guys? On the other side of the island here, you have the Whirlpool appliances, you got your dishwasher, you have your sink, pretty basic stainless steel in there. And then this is just a cubby for your trash. And then on this side, you got a five gas burner stove top. They did add the pot filler in here. Some of the builders say that the pot fillers are a structure upgrade. Some of them don't. Some of them have it where it's just a design upgrade or things like that. So it's kind of different. So definitely ask the builder uh, kind of how they handle those things. So you might have to actually ask for the pot filler at that initial contract. They also have some drawers underneath. They have the vent hidden behind these cabinets and then these are kind of what the inside of them look like. So I think I would have liked to see them stacked all the way up. These are only like 10 foot ceilings in here. I think just adding that little piece without the uh, negative space up there would look really nice. This is where your fridge would go. And then you have some more counter space along here. And then just more cabinets with like three shelves in them. This is like a small little butler's pantry thing going on over here. Good amount of cabinet space more cabinets up above and then you're back into the dining room. The pantry is a good size walk-in. Got five shelves within it, pretty good depth on them, but you can actually walk into that pantry and it, you can feel the size within it. Here's like the informal dining breakfast nook area. So they have this small little bump out here that you could add for seating. And then they got windows going around. And then on the back side of the home, let me show you what this covered patio looks like. So really good size covered patio. I'm okay with this sliding glass door because you kind of have a wall here and you have a wall here. Now, maybe this lot I'm not the biggest fan of because like, what's going on neighbor? You're looking right into me. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of where this is set up on the backside with like the homes. I don't mind the sliding glass door. It does. I, I do like it better when you have a wall on kind of both sides of you to add like it to, to make it feel like a little bit of like a small little nook. And then here's what the back side of the home looks like. Hopefully the sun's not getting too much in the way. So you have those windows up above that bring in light to that first floor and then primary bedroom dining room on there and you kind of you can kind of see how it bumps out a little bit because of that seating area in the living room on here and then they also painted that in like the dark blue color it does look black but it's it's coming off blue when it hits the light 
Now, an upgrade like this for the patio glass sliding door, I've seen anything from $13,000 to $20,000. This one's probably on the side closer to $20,000 because it's, just look at the sheer size of it. Sometimes I see them, they're just like three panels of glass. This one's actually four panels of glass in here. And then you got four windows also up above there. Ceilings in here go up like 19, 20 feet. And then walking into the primary bedroom area. So before that, there's actually the utility closet. So you get washer, dryer, and then you have one shelf above. And then underneath the staircase, is another storage area with shelves. This tiling, I think it's super trendy right now. I think in like two, three years, people are not gonna be a fan of this. I kind of see weird designs on these. I would keep it simple in the utility closet. Don't go too crazy. Maybe just add more of like a flat color with a different shape on the tiling, like maybe a hexagon pattern or something like that instead of like an actual color design on the tile itself. I think that's just really trendy right now. I may not want to do it. I do like the black touches that they add on like the handles. I am a fan of that. This is now the primary bedroom. So this one is vaulted up. This one looks like it goes up about 15 feet within here. You got three windows on the left side, fan hangs down a bit. And then actually they add some more windows up above there to bring in some more light. And how this home is sitting, like later on in the afternoon, this is gonna have some nice light coming into it. So I do think that's kind of a nice option right there to kind of think about. I think that is an upgrade. Now going into the primary bathroom. So they have this set up with chrome. No, they should have done stainless. I feel like that would have looked a lot better, but they did chrome fixtures on like the sinks, the faucets, the shower head, and then also kind of the matching chrome up above the shower. Something like this with the frame on it, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper, although it's still a good solid piece of glass on there. There's not really like a half wall. You do, kind of, it kind of still gives the effect that it's frameless, but it, this one is framed. As you can kind of see. So it will save a little bit of money, but you can kind of see the wiggle it gives uh, when it has it framed like that. Kind of frosted out these windows to add more privacy. And then you have this separated. So this countertop over here on this, this vanity is a little bit smaller than this one over here. I feel like this one's just a little bit bigger, uh, but they're both kind of set up the same way where they have the drawers on the right and the left side. And then these drawers are just a little bit bigger over here, but they're also painted in that navy dark blue. Here's the toilet on this side and then the walk-in closet. You have a couple closet rods and then just two shelves and a shelf going all the way around. So not the biggest closet, but I do think there's a decent amount of space in there. All right, let's go to the, back to the front of the house because I forgot to walk into the first bedroom that was at the front, which is this one here. So that was the primary bedroom. This is like the secondary with not really its own bathroom, but this would be the bathroom that would be used for it. So in here, two windows, and then this is what your closet looks like. So you get three closet rods, two shelves, and then they have this one carpet. Majority of the first floor is gonna be like this hardwood and it's gonna go back into carpet. That carpet looks like it's like a level two or level three, pretty basic, but the flooring in here is pretty solid. Here's what the three car garage looks like. So there's maybe just like a little sliver of space on that left side and then you have a small sliver of space here if you wanna put some other shelving uh, and then maybe up along the back wall and then you have your attic access within the garage as well. They didn't add like a mud room or anything here, but maybe you could put some more hangers, cabinets or something else in this space here here's the bathroom so this one's tiled up in like this bigger rectangle tiling which i like this better because i think this is just easier for cleaning i see some of these bathrooms where like it's got a ton of grout lines here and there ultimately comes down to like how much do you want to end up cleaning that shower a lot easier when you have less grout lines to clean the shower so i do like something like this i'm not a big fan of the square ones i like the rectangle ones better and then i do think it looks good when they tile it all the way up to the ceiling it kind of looks like it's half finished they also got some more chrome fixtures but then here and then underneath this sink is a good amount of storage for that one. All right, that's officially the first floor. Now let's go upstairs. So this goes into carpet. They painted the rails black and then kept the actual iron railing pretty simple. On the left side of the home, if we're facing out towards the street are the other bedrooms. Uh, there's some more bedrooms on that side. We'll get to that in a little bit. Front of the home here, this bedroom kind of vaults up a little bit and then it goes flat with the roof line. And then this bedroom has three closet rods and a shelf. I definitely can feel a difference within this room. So this home facing south, that study and this room here are gonna be a lot warmer than some of these other ones on the backside. Now your primary bedroom is also gonna stay a little bit cooler too. 
I like how they have this set up with two sinks going across, really good size in here. Same type of tiling in here as that bedroom, bathroom that we were kind of just in. And then I don't see, just add one more piece of tile and it will look nice and finished and flush, but they didn't. Maybe, maybe if it was over a million dollars, it, it would have been done like that. Got the toilet on this side and then you got window for this bathroom as well. And then here's the other bedroom. Still decent size as that other one. This window actually slides from left to right, or I guess from right to left. Yeah, from right to left. And then here's what this closet looks like. So this one's kind of just in front of you instead of over to the side. And then there's a hallway closet here on that one. And then looking over down into the living room so you can kind of see how this one looks like. So you see the dining, you can see your kitchen, fireplace, you can see out to the backyard. And then from this angle, you can kind of see some of the formal dining, a little bit of the study, and not really much of that back area with that other bedroom uh, and also leading out to the garage. Here is a game room, media room area. It kind of morphs into two or one here because you got this game room maybe this could be set up like an office space or something else and then you have a media room here it's just funky i think i even mentioned this on the last conroe plan i went through is like this is a media room but then you're gonna put a window here that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I guess maybe coding or they have to do something like that. But that's where they have it set up where this is the media room with the window and then you get this game room and this closes off here to make it a little bit more private if you're gonna enjoy like a movie or something. You have this little space here, maybe you put some more cabinets, maybe you put a desk along here. You do have an outlet. There is this closet that has a few shelves in it and it looks like that's like the wiring for the smart home and this closet in here. And then this is, the attic access, so a little bit of an attic access or maybe you could store some stuff in there. And then that's it. So that actually, yeah, I think I was wrong. I think when I was standing over there, I said so there were some bedrooms over here. I thought there might've been one because there had this room, but that's the attic. So that's kind of all you get on this side. It's more entertaining up along here, which I think I would have liked to seen a bathroom on this side. Cause if you're entertaining over here, you're gonna then have to walk all the way across, which it's not, you know, it's on a crazy distance all the way across the hall to go use that bathroom. But I think maybe a powder room or something over there would work kind of nice. Okay, that is gonna be the Conroe plan and what you could get at potentially $990,000. Maybe you can work a little bit of a better deal with them, but uh, like I said before, if you wanna check out more of this neighborhood, I do have a video previously driving around Wilmoth Ridge, but they are on their closeout. They are down to their last bit of remaining inventory homes. So please send me a text or give me a call if you have any other questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always.